Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video, and I am here right now to show you how to do the boss battle over on the island. And we're going to go ahead and do it. It's, it's incredibly fast. It's You'd almost miss it if you even blinked. But basically this boss battle is insanely quick. And uh, we're going to do the dragon over here, and we're going to do it on gamma difficulty just to show you as like a practice round, I suppose, is a good way to put it. Excuse me, there's a burp there. But... Anyways, we're going to do it on Gamma Difficulty, and we're going to use these Deinonychus and a Deodon. Now, Deinonychus, just so you can see the level and stuff like that, 1400 health, not good saddles, decent melee, not that great either. But uh, again, unleveled, so these things are totally achievable in-game, not good saddles at all. And we're going to go ahead and do Gamma, and I'm going to ride the pig just to heal the stuff, because, well, if you don't heal it, that's a problem. And I'm going to go ahead and hop on him right now because I always take a picture before we start. It's just something I enjoy doing. Oh, no. We're just going to go ahead and level up food. Why not? And we're going to take a screenshot here. Smile. Boom. So, anyways, as you can see, I've got these Deinonychus, uh, and we're, we're going to go into this boss fight. Now, the Deodon, uh, basically, you're just going to ride him and use your secondary attack in order to heal your Deinonychus up. You want to bring in a Spyglass so you can Spyglass the dragon and attack from a distance because you want to kind of use these Deinonychus as an additional layer between you uh, and your stuff. So, that's what you can do. Uh, I typically move as quickly as possible away from that area over there just because I don't like being on that little pad. I feel like it's dangerous, in my opinion. You can see him up there. And we're just going to, you know, avoid and wait at this point in time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and whistle these guys to attack my target. Got to wait for the dragon to land, which is like, you know, one of the most pain-in-the-butt parts of this entire boss fight. Because sometimes he takes a long time. He's got his little flappy wings going. And that that's just a cool image, you know. Maybe I'll take a picture of that, too. That's just funky looking. At least I like it. So you want to try and avoid those meteors. Meteors are not, not fun. Avoid them. Obviously, as you can see, we're being attacked by things. So we're going to go and let these things just shred them right there. Oh, no, I lost my trilobite. That's unfortunate. I didn't know a trilobite was in here. Oh, well. Sad day. Trilobite has disappeared. Now we're going to go and use our wheel. Attack this target on them. I may have made a big mistake and put them over the lava, so we're going to go ahead and whistle passive on them and make them come follow me. Come on, guys. Let's go this way. There we go. Whistle attack this target. Is he close enough? Whistle attack this target. Heal him up. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, this guy's got quite a bit of health, so we're going to try and get in there and heal up to the best of our ability. You can see these things do a bunch of damage, which is nice. Uh, he's already about a quarter, and we're just going to kind of avoid to the best of our ability. I'm not going to attack. You can see me just running in a circle. He's about half health, and we're just going to try and keep healing these guys up. Ooh, there's some of that damage that I was waiting on. Oh, there we go. He's still getting that bleed damage. That's what we're looking for. About a third, losing some Deinonychus pretty quickly here, though. Uh, so Alpha might not be doable, but you can see he is just getting blown out of the water, and boom. There it is. Now, these Deinonychus, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm just going to hop off and enable some passive healing. Boom. You can see they took a lot of damage. Um, there is no boosts, no anything on them. They're just Deinonychus with crappy saddles. So, as you can see, if you had good saddles, you might have a pretty good chance at this. Um, if you had, like, 90, 100, 110 armor saddles, uh, it's definitely doable without losing a single Deinonychus. This one took almost no damage. I wonder if he was just, like, in a in a decent hitbox, I guess. Oh, well, you see the point. So, day it on. Uh, I'm just healing these guys up right now, and uh, you can see some survived just fine. Some did not. Uh, it's not that hard of a boss fight, but uh, you do get a decent... I think I dropped everything. Yeah, that was foolish. I was going to show you the element that I got here. Um, did I not get any element? Do I have to check him? Weird. Is it not there? Interesting. Well, I guess I didn't get any element for that one, but oh well. But as you can see, that boss fight is super easy, um, especially with Deinonychus, because Deinonychus just shred, uh, and they have decided to, you know, attack literally everything, so that's just great. There's my trilobite that apparently exists, but doesn't really exist. Uh, but oh well. Anyways, suggestions for the boss fight, just to kind of give you a little bit of a breakdown here. You don't need good Deinonychus. So these Deinonychus are something that is, uh, 
you could easily bring in some just mediocre Deinonychus. I showed you the stats. Yeah, they're level 225, but again, nothing super stellar on them in regards to the actual amount of stats they have. Their health is terrible at 1.2. You can easily get these guys to 3, 4k health, and damage-wise, you can easily, easily, easily get them into the 500s, um, and that's just like without really leveling or any imprint bonuses, all that kind of stuff. So Deinonychus are definitely a useful tame. Super cheap. It only takes a little bit to raise them, and uh, I, I would really encourage you to use these for your boss fights. Uh, Deodon is all you need for it, and that's literally it. Super easy boss fight. Um, if you wanted to, you could bring in a Utyrannus. It's up to you. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out, and uh, other than that, Teacher's Game 2.